Hello, so my name is Matt and I'm the founder of Lost Sheep Guiding and I'm based in the Highlands of Scotland. So I started Lost Sheep Guiding with the, the vision to use adventurous outdoor experiences to help people reconnect with nature. So I, I find it's, it can be really easy to like to dream big and to have these like huge ambitions, which is great and it's really important to have them to be like, you know, driving you on. But also I think I've found over the last year of running Lost Sheep Guiding that it's so important to to have decent foundations and to take like kind of like really small steps and just make the actual logistics behind it work before you go dream big about this 10 15 year plan so for me it's almost like i kind of imagine like building a wee path where you're like you know you've got this path that's building out in front of you and you need to lay down a foundation before you take that little step onwards and then another foundation take a step and you can keep moving on Whereas like if you end up just going around the side of the path where it's all boggy and horrible, it just takes longer and you just get like, you just get mud everywhere and you say, you know, it's not great. So you can learn stuff there for sure, but it takes longer and going on the path is a bit better. So for me, it's like getting that foundation down and taking little steps, whether that's, you know, watching a, a YouTube video on how to do social media or whether it's having a chat with someone who, who knows a lot about SEOs and how to, you know, optimize search engines and that sort of thing. But actually about those foundations or even you know putting together a business model that's so important but it's so easy to have this like dream where you go like yeah i'm gonna go there in 10 years but without the business plan or the, or the model down where you actually want to you know the, the space you want to operate in then it's just not it's not going to work to achieve the big dream the business has to be viable in the everyday doesn't it for, for it to work so for me that's been really important making sure right now it's viable so that in 10 years we still exist and we're thriving oh yeah and it is every day, to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, even though you've got those foundations, it's so you can build this list of like loads of things that you know that you need to do, um, but they're not actually prioritizing things. And you just have this like, just like, yeah, um, just things flying around everywhere in your head. So it's so important to actually sit down, prioritize what jobs you need to do, and just get the important ones done to start with. Otherwise, it just becomes like you're just, just wading through impossible, like, yeah, it just becomes so so tough. I was lucky enough to get accepted onto a program called the Impact 30 program, where they're kind of aiming to help young entrepreneurs in the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. So for me, that's been like a game changer because they've given us loads of like webinars we can go to, to, to chat through, but to also listen to experts who have, you know, way more experience doing the whole business thing. Um, and we've got to kind of talk through stuff with other people who are in a similar, similar boat as us. So. You know, someone else, maybe they've got a very different business, but they're in the same stage. They've got this vision, they've got a plan, they've got the model, and yet it's like, how do we make this work now? So to be able to talk to people, you know, peers, people who are very similar, um, and I guess similar, similar mindsets, but also very different passions and different dreams. So to talk to those people has been really helpful. So for one, Impact 30's connected, connected me with other businesses, which is great but it's also connected me to mentors and people who have amazing experience, who have, who have had successful businesses. They've probably had unsuccessful businesses and they've learned from that. So for me, the best thing about having a mentor is just someone to chat to, to ask questions, to listen to. Um, so, you know, even learning from their mistakes. So hopefully you can kind of skirt around that little mistake and avoid it when you're doing your own thing, which is great. And also just like to cry to <laughs> when you're like, this is so hard, I can't do it anymore. And they can be there like, you know, come on, you've got this vision, you need to keep going. And someone to like encourage you in that way as well. Which when there's not, you know, not everyone goes self-employed, not everyone starts their own business. So you can't necessarily just chat to one of your mates who's, you know, um, about the, the challenges you're going through because they might not completely understand. So to have someone who's been through that um, and who can encourage you in that has been really helpful. So yeah, it's kind of, it's the, it's the connection to a mentor and also to peers to people doing similar stuff. So we try and do one kind of meeting every two weeks. So that might be an hour and we get to just chat about stuff and we keep it quite, you know, quite focused. So reality is it doesn't take loads of my time up in those two weeks, but it gives me really focused things to then go and, okay, that's why I need to action now. And that's why I need to action now, rather than being this mind thing, which is just like, and you just get lost in it. <laughs> so yeah.